Today's agreement delivers the smooth flow of trade within the United Kingdom. Goods destined for Northern Ireland will travel through a new green lane with a separate red lane for goods at risk of moving onto the EU. In the green lane, burdensome customs bureaucracy will be scrapped. It means food retailers like supermarkets, restaurants and wholesalers will no longer need hundreds of certificates for every lorry. And we will end the situation where food made to UK rules could not be sent to and sold in Northern Ireland. This means that if food is available on supermarket shelves in Great Britain, then it will be available on supermarket shelves in Northern Ireland. And unlike the protocol, today's agreement means people sending parcels to friends or family or doing their shopping online will have to complete no customs paperwork. This means we have removed any sense of a border in the Irish Sea. Second, we have protected Northern Ireland's place in the Union. We've amended the legal text of the protocol to ensure we can make critical VAT and excise changes for the whole of the UK. For example, on alcohol duty, meaning our reforms to cut the cost of a pint in the pub will now apply in Northern Ireland. The same quintessentially British products like trees, plants and seed potatoes will again be available in Northern Ireland's garden centres. Onerous travels on pet requirements have been removed. And today's agreement also delivers a landmark settlement on medicines. From now on, drugs approved for use by the UK's medicines regulator will be automatically available in every pharmacy and hospital in Northern Ireland. Third, today's agreement safeguards sovereignty for the people of Northern Ireland. The only EU law that applies in Northern Ireland under the framework is the minimum necessary to avoid a hard border with Ireland and allow Northern Irish businesses to continue accessing the EU market. But I know that many people in Northern Ireland are worried about being subject to changes in EU goods laws. To address that, today's agreement introduces a new Stormont break. Many had called for Stormont to have a say over these laws. But the Stormont break goes further and means that Stormont can, in fact, stop them from applying in Northern Ireland. This will establish a clear process through which the democratically elected assembly can pull an emergency break for changes to EU goods rules that would have significant and lasting effects on everyday lives. If the break is pulled, the UK government will have a veto.